I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process on how to list your vehicle on Toro so you can start making money. What's up YouTube, my name is Camry. Uh, I live here in Louisville, Kentucky and I have a Toro car rental business. I currently have five vehicles and I'm the youngest all-star host in my city. And on this channel, I'll talk about the behind the scenes of running a Toro car rental business. So if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to subscribe to the channel to be a part of the dream. Don't forget to like the video and comment down below if you have any uh, thoughts or questions or any other video ideas that you want me to drop. Shout out to DJ Johnson 8138 uh, he, he requested this video. So if you don't have an account on Toro, what you would do is go to Toro's website and in the top right corner, it will say become a host. So, once, so you'll click become a host and then it will say get started. And then once you click get started, it will uh, guide you into either signing into the account you already have or two, making the account if you, are, if you don't already have one. So the first step will be putting in the location of your vehicle and then you will need to bend to the vehicle. So Toro does have requirements for you to list the vehicle. Um, the vehicle has to be no, no older than I believe 12 years old. Um, and it also can't have more than 130,000 miles. So um, I just threw a, threw a random VIN in here really quick. And I'm gonna go take a look at it. You just put the mileage, how many miles the vehicle has. <clears throat> like it says right here, it says 130K plus, but really you can't have more than 130K. And then obviously uh, which type of transmission and then just click this right here and you click next. And uh, I did this on purpose. It says unable to list. It says, unfortunately, your car doesn't meet the current eligibility requirements. And that's most likely because this car probably probably has a rebuilt title or some type of uh, branded title or something like that. Toro does, Toro does not allow um, rebuilt titles or any salvage titles or anything like that. The vehicle has, a, has to have a clean title. If you uh, put your VIN in and go to the next steps and it says this, most likely that has a rebuilt title. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put the actual, the actual um, VIN number that is a good VIN. Just do this one. Same thing. Just leave everything the same. So it should say if you're on that mobile app, it will say your phone is eligible to uh, to be listed on Toro. So that's a green flag. If your vehicle has an open recall, Toro will not allow you to list that vehicle on, on the platform until that recall is uh, fixed and serviced. So um, so check for those things, and then if you ever you no recalls, clean title, then you're good to go. So next question is to say, like, it asks you your goals for listing on Toro, which uh, these questions really don't matter. Uh, it would, it won't uh, affect, you know, how many bookings and things like that you get. So if you're doing this for a business, you can say build your uh, primary source of income. And then how often do your family currently use the vehicle? Never, because it's a business vehicle. How, how, how often do you want to share your, your car? As often as possible. So next, we're gonna to go to the car's availability. I recommend putting, they say recommended three hours uh, advance notice. Which, what that means is that a customer can't book your vehicle uh, three hours until at least three hours away. So say for instance, it's 12 p.m. right now, they can't book your vehicle till at least 3, 3 p.m. So I use, I have my vehicles on two hour notice because I usually clean my vehicles right after it comes back, back from a trip. So all I have to do is just go to the location and take photos and it's good to go. And that gets me a little bit more bookings. And then I recommend putting your trip duration on two days, unless you have a higher end vehicle, because if you put it on one day, you're going to be cleaning vehicles pretty much every day. And I feel like that withholds you from uh, from getting those longer bookings, because somebody might book for one day, and then somebody might come in behind them and want to book for for a week, but they can't book it because somebody booked it for one day. So to me, the sweet spot is about two days of having your car booked. Um, and then the minimum. A trip duration, it's up to you. Uh, I, put, I put my vehicles on any because I don't have, like, I, these are business vehicles. But if you start out with your personal car, you might, you know, alter those a little bit. So then we go to the next step. And right here, you just put it pretty much put, like, like it says, the license plate number, the state that the car is registered, and then you just add the car's features. So uh, this was, I just put a random license plate, and then I'm in Kentucky, so I'll put that on here. And then you just put some features. Uh, we put random, random ones, blind spot, aux, convertible. So yeah, let's put all, put all the features that your vehicle has, and then we go to, on to the next step. <clears throat> the next step is the description. So for the description, you're just gonna put a, a, a brief like background of the vehicle, what kind of car it is, what kind of features it has, things like that. And I recommend using ChatGPT to do this. So you just go to 
chat GPT. If you don't have it, I'll look it up. You know, write me a description on my vehicle that I'm listening on Toro. It's a 2020 Honda Civic. And they put the trim level and it, it can pretty much give it to you. And don't forget, when you do this, put under a certain amount of words because uh, ChatGPT will give you like a long, a long uh, word, a uh, long essay if you don't put that. So it says 50 word minimum. So you can put like, <clears throat> we can put like 100 words. Words. Bam. So let it do its thing. Bam. Click copy. And then you're going to go back to Toro and paste it. That easy. <clears throat> And then the next step is taking car photos. To me, this is the most important part of listing your vehicle on Toro and getting the maximum amount of bookings. So it shows you a couple of examples. I know in the mobile app, it's a little bit different. It doesn't show the pictures, but the right here, these are a couple of examples of uh, uh, angles that you can take for the vehicle. Um, so you got the front, the uh, three fourths, the left side, so pretty much what I say, I say walk around the whole entire vehicle and take a uh, take a photo from every single angle from the whole entire vehicle. You need to have at least at least ten photos uh, to stand so your vehicle can stand out for other people's uh, vehicles. So you you can maximize your uh, and potential money made. So once you do that, add some photos. I'm just gonna add like some random photos because I just add like a random photo or something. I don't feel like one in there looking at my photos and all that stuff. So we go next. And then this is agree to the safety, safety and quality strand, standards. You can read through that. Uh, make sure you obviously clean the car, refill it when it gets back. Um, by clicking this, you agree. By the terms of service, you can read through that if you, if you would like. Click agree. Now what I will say do, is I will go through the settings. So I'll, I'll walk you guys through it a little bit so you can get familiar. But you obviously can do that on your own time and, um, and see what's, what fit, fit, uh, feels right for you. But uh, you obviously can go in here and you can you can uh, change the pricing. So you can put what your minimum pricing is. Say you want to make no less than $65 on a, on a booking. And the max, you can put that, whatever. It really doesn't matter. You said 150 So what it will do is for the automatic pricing it won't have your bookings lower any lower than 65 dollars and it'll go all the way up until 150 because sometimes you have holidays and things like that so uh and then you can change like the the price boost settings so if somebody uh, books it last minute it can it can be a five percent increase on each booking or it could be ten percent or none if you you know you just want to get some bookings or you have three day discounts, the one week discounts, and the one month discount. I, I would recommend keeping those, but the three day discount, I'll put that on 5%. I'll put this one on 10%. Uh, because most people book the car for three days. So, I mean, I'm not gonna give you a 10% discount for booking my vehicle for three days. But like I said, you can, that's up to you. You can start it higher starting out. But now, and then this right here is set, booking seven, seven days in advance. I recommend putting this on none because on the mobile app it is a little bit different so just keep that in mind um we can go to location and delivery so with location and delivery you can add a delivery location delivery location up to you know however long having me mouse uh i have my delivery fees at 65 dollars uh that's my preference but you can you can know like i said you can change your you just put it where you wherever you want to do it so you say 60, I just say 55, it doesn't matter. And that's to deliver the vehicle to the customer and for you to pick it up from them and you know get it. So sometimes you might have to catch an Uber or catch a ride. So if you're catching an Uber, I mean, you gotta factor that in to how much you're actually gonna make off of this. And then distance, I have mine at 15 miles because I'm not driving you know, 100 miles away to deliver a vehicle, it's just not worth it. So go ahead and do that. And then next we have extras. So a couple of extras that you can add for your bookings is prepaid fuel that's one of them so it basically it's pretty much self-explanatory they can um obviously get the vehicle on f uh, a full full tank and then when they drop the vehicle off they can drop it off at any fuel level so you can pick your price it depends what type of car you have 
Um, if you have a compact sedan, obviously it'll be much cheaper. But uh, if you have an SUV, it'll be more expensive. So just figure out that price of what, um, then we get a prepaid fuel where you can, you know, fill it up on an empty tank and still make a little bit of money. Uh, most of the time, they never, they don't fill it up on, they don't return it on an empty tank, but that's worst case scenario. And then next we have distance included. This is, if not the most important part of, one of the most important parts of listing your vehicle. So um, if you don't care if people don't drive your vehicle as much as they want, take it to Nebraska, Atlanta, don't, no matter what, you can put on unlimited miles. I recommend putting your vehicle on anywhere from 200 to 250 miles per day. Um, that gives them a cap so they can't just drive the vehicle anywhere. Uh, most people do the same thing, so there's not really much competition when it comes to mileage. I mean, you can put a little bit more. It is whatever you feel, whatever you feel comfortable with. We're gonna save that. And then vehicle protection. This is a this is another very important uh, step in listing your vehicle on tour. So starting out, so. They have a couple of different protection plans. They have the 60 plan, which uh, on the 60 plan, your deductible is zero. So the difference between these plans, the 75, the 80, the 85, 90. So on the 60 plan, you take 60% of all your earnings. Toro takes 40%. So that's the downside of, you know, being on the, on the 60 plan. Uh, now if you go to the 75 plan, this is what I started on. Uh, so you get a little bit more percentage of your earnings so you can make a little bit more money. Uh, but your deductible is 250 and it doesn't have as many uh, benefits. You get 30 a day for replacements. Uh, you don't get wear and tear and things like that. And you have the 80 plan. On the 80 plan, it's 75. Uh, on the 80 plan, you get 80% of all your earnings and you, your deductible is $750. And then you don't get any of the extra uh, benefits of the other plans. And then so forth, the 85 plan, the deductible is 1625 and uh, you get 85% of earnings. And then a 90 plan, you get 90% of earnings, but your deductible is 2500 So it's whatever you think feels right for you. I recommend starting out at the 60 plan and then making your way up to the 75 plan. That's, those are our steps to list your vehicle on Toro and get paid by today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you wanna see more videos like this, uh, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. But that's all I got for you guys today. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.